Hello, all you beautiful people out there. What is going on? This is your friend Bird coming to fast with another core related video. And today we got a lot to talk about. First off, Matabuff released this video right here that you guys are looking at the UI demonstration video. This was shown to me couple of weeks ago I wasn't allowed to tell you guys about this but this is what I saw and it got me really really hyped now this is not just this is a presentation of the UI this is actually someone going through it's it's possible to run this right now this video is to demonstrate that it is possible okay you can actually go in and click on these tabs you got a lot of different tabs you got a lot of community tab you got a community tab you got that alliances tab which i have no idea what that's about you have a ranked match tab which allows you to do solo duo or trio queue or a team queue or you can even do an lfg that gives you plus 10 percent experience if you'd like all this is done by someone like this isn't just a video this isn't just an animation this is actually working which is pretty good it's pretty pretty cool to see this this amount of progress so fast so far um before the actual release of the game and it's pretty amazing to see what they're coming up with uh, but that's not the only bit of news we're gonna dive into the new map testing and what has changed here a little bit shortly i got some footage coming up after this bit right here but for those of you who do not know yet the alpha has been delayed now this has been some devastating news for for some people for me personally i didn't really react to it in such a devastated way i was pretty upset about it i'm not gonna lie i expected it to come out on the 27th it would have been very romantic very poetic but at the same time i'm actually very very happy that they delayed it and it only sh proves to me that metabuff is taking this incredibly seriously they're taking it so seriously that they're not even going to risk releasing a a closed alpha in a state that is not ready we're talking about we're not talking about a full game we're talking about a closed alpha all right, alphas are supposed to be buggy as shit. They're supposed to be broken. And MetaBuff is still like, no, 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 no. We're going to make it the cleanest motherfucking alpha you guys have ever seen. So they are delaying that release, which honestly, I am totally for. I've been saying this since the very beginning. I'm cool with any developer waiting and working on it as long as they need to. Do not rush a product. Just do the best that you can and make it great right out the gate. All right, and you guys saw that little cool transition at the end there with the heroes running at each other and everything. Now, you guys might notice that in this map test, there actually is some sound added. So there's some water, there's some wind, there's some birds chirping in the jungle. So I, I allowed the audio for this video so you guys can kind of hear that a little bit. Kind of enjoy your, indulge your, self, your senses in the amazingness that is Uncle Boof's sound. I, I would probably change it to a certain degree. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's too early for me to care though. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the sounds, the birds, the crows, all that good, good stuff. And yeah, we're just going to go over the changes a little bit here from the last map video. So in this gameplay here, you see that the jungle is brighter. The jungle is brighter. Uh, they didn't really fix the dirt too much. They changed it in some places, but it still looks like Minecraft dirt in other places. What really baffled me is that it was like 10 days, maybe 10, 12 days after I got the first map test build and they've already made a lot of changes, which I am very, very surprised about. I was really, really relieved to see MetaBuff act super duper quickly on feedback, not just mine, but the other people that had it early as well. It's just incredible. So here we have the solo lane first. I'm showing you guys the solo lane has new ganks added to it so you can go around and gank from the top this is the same concept in mid lane as well you can gank from the top and they also changed the stairs there on the platform to the side to be honest though i really don't like that platform at all again i went over this multiple times as how it gives an advantage to range solo laners over melee solo laners people are going to be picking morgesh 100 percent of the time over kuang or something like that because they'll just be able to sit on top of that platform farm and deal damage and have harvester control i think a good quick fix would be to remove the elevation and then segment the harvester off to the side so you can't get cs or xp while also having the harvester control kind of how it was on legacy they also added minion collision as you can see here i can jump on the back of or prime which is pretty fun you get to ride him like a little horsey a big horsey sorry didn't mean to offend you prime and uh they added a lot of other neat ganks like i said in the other lanes right here in mid lane you see that they changed this river buff spot a little bit they made the windows a little more 
accessible, a little more convenient, much shorter. Okay, the platforms, these pillars aren't, there's no giant ass pillars anymore, no towers that you have to climb up. Okay, they're just short little ledges. And also they added these stairs inside the jungle if you have to take the risk and cut through the enemy jungle to get a, a better gank on mid lane, now you can and run up these stairs and then drop down on a mid laner that's chilling right up here on this ledge. One thing I would change though is that those ledges seem a little too wide. Kind of just chip that ledge off. You don't need that big of a ledge. Maybe add a little ledge to the other side too. But I'm liking the asymmetrical look. And again, stairs on this side as well. Except these stairs aren't blocked off. So you can actually look down there and see river buff and see mid laners rotating to river buffs if you are the jungler. Which, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like a quick fix would just be to make it the same exact thing as it is on the other side. Put a wall up there so you can't drop down from those stairs. So once you go up there, you either gank or you just walk back down the stairs. You can't just drop off. Uh, the camps are pretty similar in position to where they were, but also they changed dual lane here. Again, they added more ganking opportunities for dual lane. They changed the double doorway into a single doorway. They changed the ore prime dunk closet, quote unquote, as some people are calling it, to make it a little bit bigger, uh, to make it a little bit wider. And again, they added these ganks right here. Again, if you go deep through the enemy jungle, you'll get a better gank on the dual lane so it's a risk reward type feature which i am all for more risk more reward i'm totally down for that kind of gameplay i love that kind of gameplay for sure so let me know what you guys think of the new map updates i know i'm sorry closed alpha is delayed but internal testing will progress i will be streaming everything i will be show making youtube videos so keep it locked here to this youtube channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that like comment subscribe all that good stuff. Also, check me out on Twitch. We are so close to getting verified, so close to getting partnered. Thank you so much for everyone who keeps tuning in. And as always, make sure I'll have a wonderful day. <gasps> Peace.